Welcome to the devotion to Saint Anthony. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, with humble hearts, we come into your presence, praising you and giving thanks for the bountiful blessings we have received through the intercession of Saint Anthony. Through our patron saint, who loves and upholds the scriptures dear to his heart, may we too open our hearts to listen to the word of God by reading, praying, and meditating upon its message. We, may we emulate our dear saint and so be able to sit at the feet of Jesus, your son, who is your word. We make this prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let us pray to God, our Creator, the source and author of all holiness, who has given salvation in Christ. Lord, hear our prayer as we honour you in Saint Anthony. Guide our world leaders to seek the way of peace and assist our brothers and sisters who are oppressed. Lord, hear our prayer as we honour you in Saint Anthony. Look with kindness on those who have not had the gospel shown to them or who have lost their way. Lord, hear our prayer as we honour you in Saint Anthony. Help those who are poor, who have no food or homes, who seek work. Lord, hear our prayer as we honour you in Saint Anthony. Heal the sick and depressed. Let the lowly know the comfort of your love, assist all in need of your mercy. Lord, hear our prayer as we honour you in Saint Anthony. Lord Jesus, bind us to you and to our neighbour with love. May our hearts not be turned away from you. May our souls not be deceived, nor our talents or minds enticed by allurements of error so that we may never distance ourselves from your love. Thus we may love our neighbour as ourselves with strength, wisdom and gentleness. With your help, you who are blessed throughout all ages. Amen. A reading from the life of Saint Anthony Asidua by a contemporary Franciscan, chapter 16, the prologue, where we begin the second part of this book. In the preceding part of our work, which we were able to bring to conclusion by the grace and goodness of the Most High, we wrote with humble devotion, but also after ascertaining the truth of the life and deeds of our most blessed father and confra, Anthony. In a part that follows, we give an account of what ought to be added about the marvelous things which the Lord God of majesty deigned to work around him and through him from the day of his death and thereafter. Truly, since we could not come to know everything and so as not to cause annoyance to readers because of the sea of miracles to be narrated. We propose to set down only those things which seem more necessary in order that the devotion of the faithful be moved with these to divine praise. Those who desire to say more for the edification of faith may always find out from others what they ought to add. Here ends the reading. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. The philosopher Socrates' famous saying, the unexamined life is not worth living. While this saying is certainly true, self-reflection is not necessary an easy thing to practice. The brothers and sisters, we live in an incredibly fast-paced world. 
our mobile phones are constantly buzzing with the latest TikTok videos on how to cook the latest dish, Instagram posts of the latest fashion, and of course, Netflix. Netflix always has something new to binge on. Taking the time for reflection is a bit of a lost art. Most of us, unfortunately, are living in an unexamined life. The question is, are we, are you, living an unexamined life? Just like in today's chapter, chapter 16, where we start the second part of this book, there are many stories on the miracles of Saint Anthony, many. But the author only set down which looks more necessary so that you and I can focus and reflect on his life. We take on the word reflect. So what is this self-reflection means? It is taking the time to think about, meditate on, evaluate and also give serious thoughts on your behaviors, your thoughts, attitudes, motivations, and your desire. It is the process of diving deep into your thoughts and emotions and also motivations and asking why. Why do I react on this situation? Why do I respond that way? Why am I so triggered with this situation behind every event of our lives? Practicing self-reflection takes discipline and intentionality. And also, this requires pressing the pause on the chaos of our lives and simply taking the time to think and also ponder on your life, which is not an easy thing for many people to do. And dear brothers and sisters, why practice self-reflection is important. It allows us to gain a certain perspective of life because sometimes emotions can cloud our judgment. Moreover, it also helps us to respond more effectively by considering the consequences of our words and also actions. Self-reflection promotes learning and understanding by processing what we have experienced and we bring God in every event that we ponder. And by being aware on all of these aspects, you and I can certainly live in a holistic, integrated, and healthy lives. Dear brothers and sisters, one thing that I learned from classes in seminary is that how I can integrate all of this information that I've learned in seminary and turn it into living action so that God, God can be glorified through my life. Question for all of us to ponder for this week. Are we living in an unexamined life? Amen. If you ask for miracles, death, error, all calamities, the leprosy and demons fly, and health succeeds infirmities. The sea obeys and fetters break, and lifeless limbs you do restore, while treasures lost are found again, when young and old aid implore. All dangers vanish at your prayer, and deepest needs are cared for too. Let those who know your power proclaim, let all Christians say, these are of you. The sea obeys and fetters break, and lifeless limbs you do restore, while treasures lost are found again, when young and old aid implore. To the Father, Son, may glory be, and Holy Spirit eternally. The sea obeys and fetters break, and lifeless limbs you do restore, while treasures lost are found again, when young and old aid implore. Pray for us, Saint Anthony that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. God, our loving Father, you are glorified in your servant, Saint Anthony, whose glory is the crowning of your gifts to him. In his life on earth, you give us an example. 
In our prayer communion with Him, you give us His friendship. In His prayer for the Church, you give us strength and protection. We praise and thank you, Lord, for these benefits. Through Jesus Christ, your Son. Amen. Holy Saint Anthony, you are the consolation of so many people. We come to invoke your help, confident of experiencing your goodness and power. Pray for us to the Father of mercies, that we may obtain the graces we need for ourselves and for our loved ones. Confident in the intercession of Saint Anthony, let us humbly place our needs before the Lord who hears us with tenderness and mercy. Let our respond to each petition be, pray for us. That the Church may continue to be the light of the world, bringing truth and salvation to all the nations. Saint Anthony, pray, pray for, for us. us. That the Pope, bishops and all clergy may be effective witnesses of the Gospel. Saint Anthony, pray for us. That the Lord may increase vocations to the priesthood and religious life, and that those called may be generous. Saint Anthony, pray for us. That God, who calls us to remove all oppression, will enable our nation to restore equal protection to the lives of children. Saint Anthony, Pray for us that our families may be blessed with peace, joy, and good health. Saint Anthony, pray for us that the poor, disadvantaged, unemployed, and the forgotten may experience the power of God's Spirit and the help of His people. Saint Anthony, pray for us that the sick may be comforted in their suffering and be healed according to God's will. Saint Anthony, pray for us, that we may abandon our sinful ways and embrace the newness of life wrought by the death and resurrection of Jesus our Saviour. Saint Anthony, pray for us, that Christ the light of the world and salvation of the nations may be set up on fire with his spirit to be heralds of the good news. Saint Anthony, pray for us. Now let us pause for a moment for our personal intentions. Saint Anthony, Pray for us that all who have died may be purified of sin and share eternal joy. Saint Anthony, pray for us. True follower of Saint Francis, you put into our hearts the flame of your love that we may love our merciful Father in heaven and our neighbor as ourselves. Pray that we may fulfill the will of God and live the way Jesus shows us in the Gospel. Be a guide for us this day that we may recognize the opportunities God gives us to be helping and caring. Assist us in keeping the promises we made at our baptism. Help us to obtain the grace to walk in the light of faith and to proclaim that faith by the way we live. Amen. Saint Anthony, light of the church, lover of God's law, and doctor of the gospel. Pray for us to the Son of God. Having offered up our petitions and needs before the all-loving and merciful God, let us with grateful hearts thank Him as we pray. We thank you, Father, for giving us Saint Anthony, who lived the gospel life so faithfully. Through his intercession, may the good news of Christ inspire us to build up your kingdom and make the world a more fitting place for all to live. With Saint Anthony, we praise and bless you forever and ever. Amen. 
Together with Christians of all ages, let us pray to the Father in the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Heavenly Father, as we go on our way, we bless and thank you for this sacred time we have shared together, listening to your word and being strengthened through the intercession of St. Anthony. May we, in our daily lives, feel the effects of your love through your grace working actively in us. Let us from time to time pause and be conscious of your presence around and within us and give you thanks and praise for the gifts of life, family and friends because all good things come from you. We make our prayer in your Son's most precious name. Amen. Amen. And now let us ask for God's blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Amen. May the Lord let his face shine upon you and have mercy on you. Amen. May the Lord look upon you with kindness and give you his peace. Amen. And may the Lord bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. We adore you. Most, Most holy, holy Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, here, here and in all your churches throughout the world, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Thank you, brothers and sisters, for always supporting the prayers in our mission. Till then, God bless.